Hey guys, this is the Ghost with Ghostly Hacks.com. Um, today's tutorial on for Kali Linux is going to be how to install your Broadcom drivers um, for your your wireless card. Um, sometimes, like on my Dell laptop, uh, it's a Dell Inspiron 1545, I believe. Um, when I installed Kali Linux, it didn't work. The wireless card didn't work to begin with. So, in order to get that to work, there's a few things that you have to do and I'm going to explain those right now. So first thing you want to do is open up a terminal. Um, this is Kali Linux, it's just KDE for those of you who are not following my videos. Um, all you have to do is go to your terminal and type in... Sorry guys, my phone. <laughs> How inconvenient. All you have to do is go in the terminal and type... Um, uh, we're going to do a nano and then forward slash etc and then forward slash apt forward slash uh, sources list sources dot list uh, hit enter and you're going to see in yours if you have just installed Kali and haven't done anything to your uh, repository or your sources list just this top line well we need to add these two lines in here that would be deb http colon forward slash forward slash http uh, dot Kali dot org space forward slash Kali space main space contrib space non dash free that's the top one um, the first half is the same um, instead of Kali right here it would be forward slash wheezy space main space contrib space non dash free um, add those two lines inside of here and after you get done just hit control X Y and then enter um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and exit out and the next step that you want to do is app-get update and uh, the way you do that is exactly like I said app-get update uh, let it do its thing and first you should do sudo if you already have if you're not uh, logged in as root you should use sudo and that's going to allow you to um, have root privileges or admin privileges And if you type in your password right, which it didn't, it'll work. All right, so it's going to go ahead and it's going to update your repository now, um, or your applications in the list, so you'll be able to download this right here. And the next thing that we're going to do is app-get install firmware b43 uh, lpphy-installer. Um, I'll either have this in the description, or it's a high-def video, you guys can just can just pause it and get it done. I'm going to clear the terminal out real quick if I can type. And then we're going to type in, well, let's go ahead and copy and paste it in there. And it tried to do it, but there wasn't sudo ahead of it. Like again, you need to type sudo, hit enter, and then it says it's already the newest version. Um, that's all you have to do uh, as far as that goes. And after it's installed, you just need to type in mod probe which is going to create an interface for your Broadcom drivers it's mod probe space B 43 and that's if you have the Broadcom drivers like I do um, and as you can see if you type in if config uh, either dash a or man sudo <laughs> it's uh, kind of annoying not being logged in as root but it's also a good safety measure or security measure it shows you the uh, interfaces here let me go ahead and full screen this and retype the command um, it shows you the interfaces this is uh, the wireless LAN and it shows you that it is connected and working properly then I have the VM net and the loopback and then the Ethernet um, hope this helped you out guys on getting your wireless working and hopefully that your wireless card supports uh, injection because next up we're going to be doing uh, wireless cracking with Kali Linux until next time, this is Ghost with GhostlyHacks.com. And don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment, and go to my website,